Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. In the last video, we talked about e-discovery tool. In this particular video, we will be talking about content search. I will demonstrate you how to search contents using content search tool and how to export those results in PST file. If we go by definition, content search is a tool in Microsoft 365 Compliance Center that is used to find emails in Exchange Online mailboxes. You can use to search documents in SharePoint Online or OneDrive, and you can find messages in Microsoft Teams. Content search and e-discovery both are used to perform search and to download those results in PST file. But the difference between these tools is that e-discovery gives an option to place the search and the contents on hold, whereas content search doesn't have this option. By using content search tool, you can perform search on the locations and you can download the results in PST file. Now let's talk about the flow of using content search tool and what are the steps those are involved in using content search. The administrator who is going to run a search query using content search tool, he needs to be a member of eDiscovery Manager role group. Once we have the required permissions, we need to create a search. Then we will add the locations that we want to search. We can search the locations based on the conditions as well. And once search is complete, we can export the search results in PST file. So this is the flow of running content search tool. So now let me show you this practically as well. To access content search tool, we will go to compliance. This will redirect us to Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. And from here, we can click on content search to access content search tool. But before this, we need to make sure that the administrator account or the global administrator account who is going to run content search tool, he has certain permissions. Under Compliance Center, we will click on roles and this will list all the role groups where you can add the administrators to perform certain tasks. In order to use eDiscovery, the account has to be a member of eDiscovery Manager. Under description, under assigned roles, you can see few roles are already added. For content search, we need export and preview role. If these roles are not added, you can click on edit and then select choose roles, click add it, click add. And from here, you can add the required roles and then click add and these roles will be added. To add, a member for eDiscovery administrator, you will click on edit. Then again, click edit, click add, and from here, select the user and then click add. Once you have made these changes, you need to wait for some time. As per Microsoft documentation, it can take up to 24 hours for application. So once permissions are assigned, you can wait for some time. And once permissions are replicated, after that, you would be able to access content search and all the options. So to run content search tool, we will click on content search and then we will click new search. Here we need to assign a name for this particular search. Click next. Under specific locations, you can select the location that you want to include within this search. If you will Turn this option to on. That means by default, all the exchange mailboxes, including Microsoft 365 groups, Teams chat, and Yammer user messages will be included within this particular search. If you want to add certain mailboxes, then you can click choose users, groups, or teams. From here, you can add the users or groups that you want to add within this particular search. For example, I want to search emails or the contents of test user. So I'll select the user, then click done. Same way, if you want to add SharePoint sites, OneDrive sites, Microsoft 365 group sites, team sites, or Yammer network within this particular search, you can turn this on. 
If you want to add specific sites, then you can search for the site from here. Select the site and then click Add. If you want to add Exchange public folders within this search, then you can turn this option on and by default, all the Exchange Online public folders will be added within this particular search. So I want to run search only for this particular user that I have added here, test user. And then click Next. On this particular screen, you have an option to add certain keywords or conditions within your search. Let's assume you want to perform search on this particular mailbox on the basis of certain keywords. For example, security or any keywords. So content search will look for this particular keyword within the mailbox and whatever items or emails or the contents will relate to this keyword. Content search will return those results. If you do not want to use keywords, you can use conditions. You can add date where you can search the contents on the basis of date. For example, you want to search emails between 15th of December till 18th of January. Or let's say you want to search on the basis of sender on the basis of size of the contents, on the basis of subject. You can add message kind as well, participants. All these conditions are available for you to run the content search. Now, once you have made the changes, you can click Next. You can review the changes and then click Submit. So here we can see new search has been created. Click Done. Now open this search again. The status is the search is starting. So as of now, content search tool is running on this particular mailbox and it is trying to fetch the details based on the conditions or the keywords that we have specified. So once this search is completed, after that we can see the results just below here. So let's wait for a few seconds and I will resume the video once this search is completed. So this search has been completed and only one item was found within this particular mailbox. This is the size of the item and we searched only one mailbox. Now let's go to actions and let's see what all other options are available. Edit search will let you to edit the current search. You can make changes here. Let's say you want to add more users within the search. You can add the users and you can rerun this search. Click done, click next, next and click submit. Now again content search will run and it will search for the contents of the other mailbox as well. And it will show you the results under same search query. So now you can see two mailboxes are searched and the items are found 227 and this is the size of these items. Apart from that, you can rerun the search, you can delete the search, you can copy the search, you can export the results and you can export the report as well. Now let me show you how to preview the emails or the preview the results. To preview the results, we will click on review sample. And this particular wizard will preview all the samples or all the items those are returned within the search result. The preview has been generated. Here we can see the list of all the items, all the contents of the both mailboxes. Those are retrieved within the search result. We can click on any particular content and we can see this one is a calendar item. If you want to download the item, you can click on download original item and you can open this as an Outlook attachment. So this is a calendar item. For example, let's open an email. This should be an email. So here we can see this is the email that this particular admin has sent to this user. So this is how you can preview the results and even you can download the original item as well. 
we can also export the report. We can click on export report and click generate report. This will submit another query within content search from where we can export the reports. It says a job has been created and go to export. So as of now it is running. It is not completed yet, so let's wait for a couple of minutes. So the report is ready and to download this report, we will click on download report. This will download eDiscovery export application, so click on open. And you need to copy this key. Go back to the tool. Paste the key here and then browse to the location where you want to save this file. Click OK and then click start. This will download the report within this location. So the report has been downloaded. Let's go to this location. And let's check export summary first. So export summary will give you the detail about the export process. It will show you whether the process was successful. How many items are retrieved? Was there any error while retrieving the items? Items skipped will show you the corrupted items. Those were not retrieved within the search. And if you want to check the detailed information, you can go to results. And within this file, you can check what sort of emails are retrieved within the search. You can check the properties of the contents as well. For example, is red has attachment type of the content, whether it was an email or calendar. You can check the date and time as well. What time is it was received or this content was created? What was the size of the content as well? So this is the report that you can download. Apart from that, you can download the PST file as well. So go back to search, click on the search, go to actions and then click export results. Click export. This will again submit another request within content search for the export results. Go to export. Click on search export and then click download results. This will again download eDiscovery export tool and you need to copy this key. Go back to tool. Paste the key browse to the location where you want to save the file and click start. Now this will export the PST file. So the download process is completed. Let's go to this location. Let's go to exchange and here are the PST files for both the users. So this is how you can run content search and you can download the results within the PST file. So as an administrator, you can save these PST files for the future reference or to back up the data. Or if you want to import these PST files into Outlook, so you can follow the import process and you can import these PST files within the Outlook profile as well. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.